When Scott Weiland was asked, how did Kurt Cobain's death affect you? Scott's short answer was, very intensely. He then followed that up with an explanation. Scott recalls how he was dealing with his own drug addiction at around the time of Kurt's death, and how he was actually supposed to be in the same rehab center as Kurt. That's right, for those of you who know the Kurt Cobain story, you know how he was at the Exodus Recovery Center in LA right at the end of his life. Well, what you may not know is that Scott Weiland was actually supposed to be in there with Kurt as well at the same time. Let's check out the interview. I was actually in detox or rehab for the first time kicking heroin when I knew that Kurt was over at Exodus. I was in a place in Pasadena. I was actually supposed to be going to Exodus, and Stone Temple Pilots had just finished our tour with the Butthole Surfers, and I found out that Gibby Haynes was there, so my manager made a change and put me somewhere else. And everything went down. We heard over the TV that he jumped the wall. I've known a lot of people who have done that, that he was missing, and then found out that he was dead. It was really heavy. It was kind of the death of the age of innocence of our thing we had going. As far as that genre of music, there was a certain innocence about it, and then the innocence was gone. I guess every generation has their Don McLean moment, you know? This will be the day that I die. The whole death of rock and roll moments. And that was our generation's death of rock and roll. So Kurt and Nirvana were definitely a favorite of Scott's. He always spoke fondly of the band whenever he talked about them. And Scott himself sadly passed away. That was on December the 3rd of 2015. He was just 48 years of age. He was on his tour bus in Bloomington, Minnesota when he passed. And he passed away in his sleep due to various complications. And that was while he was on tour with the Wildabouts. So that was a very sad end for Scott there himself. Of course, most well known for his roles as the lead singer of the Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver. Scott had a lot of brilliant solo material behind him as well. And right at the end of his life, he was fronting the band Scott Weiland and The Wildabouts. And they have a very awesome album too, Blaster. If you've never checked that one out, definitely recommend giving that one a listen. Very awesome. That is the final album that Scott ever made. So there you go guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thanks heaps for checking it out. Be sure to drop us a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time.